When preparing for any emergency, it's very important to have a communications kit. Similar to a go bag or a bug out bag, communications is vital to making sure that you're prepared for any scenario. This is my communications or emergency communications bag. It is a nylon bag, eight liters from 511. I'll have the link in the description. It's very simple, fully nylon, has decent zippers and opening it up, the first thing that you see is my notepad little pouch. Opening it up, you have a few pens and the Write in the Rain notebook. I'm not a crazy fan of Write in the Rain because I don't like how the paper feels, but in an emergency, I'd rather have paper that is in great in all conditions than terrible paper. Um, I also have a small little recorder that I use to either document my QSOs or my communications over my amateur radio or any notes that are very important to remember. Next up, I have a power cable from my radio. Nothing fancy. It's a barrel connector to an Anderson power pole. I have a lot of adapters for the Anderson power pole and most of my batteries come equipped with it. Next up, about 20 feet of a BNC or SDI cable. This is what I use to connect my antenna to my radio. One of the antennas that I use is this cheap but pretty good VHF UHF antenna. It comes in two parts, um, or I unscrewed it, and it's a telescoping 2 meter, 70 centimeter antenna that works great with my radio. I also have the battery, a spare battery to my radio. And then second to last, I have my antenna. So this is the K6 ARK DIY little miniature antenna that I built out. It's a great antenna, works really well. It was my first soldering project, so pretty difficult for me. I definitely picked a pretty difficult project. However, I will have a short video put up later on of how I made it, um, the whole process, but it's great. I'll list all the bands that it works on here somewhere. And last but not least, the radio. So the radio that I'm using is the ICOM IC705 and it's perfect for emergency communications because it works on HF, VHF, and UHF. It also has a digital adapter or a USB uh, sound card built into it. So all I need is a USB cable to connect to my computer. It's a touch screen, just a wonderful radio overall and I highly recommend it. I'm gonna put some links down in the description talking about the radio. But that is it, that is my kit. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I would love to explain any reasoning behind the items in my kit. And thank you for watching and I'll see you all next week.